Hello, so this is a quick review video on the new SIM card cutter. Okay, so I just went back there and get my iPhone 5. So what happened is uh, I have an iPhone 4S and it was using a micro SIM card. Okay, originally I had the SIM card like the, the big bulky one and it was in, I guess I had it in 2005 or something like that. It was a long time ago. It was a really big and bulky SIM card. Um, I, I cut it once I cut it down from a big bulky SIM card into a micro SIM card size, which is what you see here, the, the corner inside. And then when the iPhone 5 came out, um, it's using a nano SIM card. So what I had to do is I had to cut, I had to buy another SIM card cutter. This is the nano SIM card cutter, which is what the photo review is about. Basically, you slide in your uh, big bulky traditional SIM card in and you cut it. It's kind of like a paper clip kind of mechanism. It just, you know, it extrude out the SIM card. But I had, since I had, a, it's designed with a big bulky traditional SIM card. Um, since I had a micro SIM card size, since I cut it at some point and when I upgraded to iPhone 4S, which had a um, micro SIM card. So what I did was I put the nano, uh, sorry, I put the micro SIM card that I had, the size, which, you know, I cut it before, like I said, and they it comes with uh, two little SIM card holder. It's like a little piece of plastic that can hold this SIM card that I have, which is a micro SIM card size. Uh, yeah, micro SIM card size. And then you just put it into the proximal location here slide in it has a little logo here show you which direction of the SIM card to be oriented as long the whole size is in the large SIM card size you slide it in and you just use your two hands and do it downwards is probably better because you don't want the SIM card to fly out from this spot upward could get into your eyes or god knows where um, it just fly out so you push it down very hardly like with two hands and then out with the SIM card. Um, and then you just have to pull it back like to retract because you know, this uh, piece of metal is going to get stuck in the middle. So what happened is um, after that, you get a SIM card. Since mine was so ancient, it was from 2000, you know what, it's probably from 2003 actually, I had this thing guy. It was way before 2005. No, it's about 2005, I had this thing guy in 2005. Alright, so this is the end product after you're cutting it. Oh, this is the other piece of plastic that came with the micro SIM card cutter. So I got this from Amazon, I know you can buy this from China for like a dollar probably. Or less, but I got from Amazon about seven, eight dollars because I, I kind of needed ASAP for my iPhone five. So you can get it from Amazon Prime if you live in the US and UK area. You can get this really fast, and a lot of sellers sell this on Amazon Prime. Or if you live close, you want away from China, you can always buy it for like a dollar or something in China. Anyway, so this is the end product after you cut it, and. Inside the SIM card cutter, you can pull it out, and this is what it was before. Like I say, this was originally a large SIM card, and I cut it at some point in 2000, and like I guess I don't know, two, three years ago, or more. I don't remember when I cut this, but I cut it at some point a few years ago. So I got a micro SIM card for my iPhone 4 S. Great. And then I cut it again just today to get my nano SIM card, which 
works because I just call, I just made two phone call earlier with this card, and it works just fine. Um, so this video is really just for people who want to do this on their own. They, they want to cut um, into a nano sync up perfectly without using a scissor, which I strongly uh, discourage people doing that because uh, why would you do a scissor when this thing costs like a dollar to ten dollars and cuts perfectly on its own? Uh, no, make, that just make no sense to me. Why <laughs> anyone want to cut it with a scissor? But um, this is what it looks like on the side. The copper obviously is being um, it's a little bit rough edge. I don't know if you can see. It's not like, camera is not focusing very well. Anyway, let's take my word for it. Uh, if you can, I don't know if it's gonna come out okay on the screen, but you can see what's inside the SIM card. It's plastic and copper, and I don't know what else is in there. It's blackish. It looks like it's damaged, but it's really not because it works just fine. That's I four G works. Uh, why the um, internet four G works and calling people there's no um i can call other people and without any uh noticing any quality difference with the phone call so yeah this works and then i can put this into my iphone 5 and unfortunately since i'm using t-mobile as i just find out after i make the sim card my iphone 5 is not yet activated uh unlocked for t-mobile so i'm gonna have to do that Okay, so that's why I had this uh, sync card back to iPhone 4S, which I guess I still use for a few days until my friend who sold me this phone, um, I need him to code AT&T for him to unlock it. So then I can use my iPhone 5. And thank you very much for watching. So this, this is how you make micro sync card out of 2005 big bulky SIM card. The micro card. Oh, few more thing I want to talk about this micro card is that you want to. Uh, I, I guess it has the same problem as the previous generation of nan. Um, uh, this is the nano SIM card carder. In the previous generation, the micro SIM card carder, people a lot of people complain about how this edge is really sharp. If you're not careful, you can hurt yourself. Uh, so this is the same. This is the, still the same case. This uh two. Every, every other edge is nice and I guess less, well some of the edges are so sharp like on this side, it's really sharp and this side is really sharp. So just be careful when you use this, don't cut yourself, uh, wear gloves or just don't touch this inner corner area. Just top button and slide it in. Make sure you slide in again, slide in the large SIM card size. If you don't, you have a micro SIM card, put it in this adapter and put it and put it in otherwise you're gonna cut, come out of the wrong you're gonna damage the uh, sync card you cut in if you put the nano sync card uh, micro sync card directly in and expecting for a nano sync card but it won't come out right anyway i think you get what i'm saying um i don't know who exactly sold me this on amazon right now i bought i just bought i just got this yesterday and it came with this um it's a 12 volt DC converter to you know like 5 volt charging. Yeah, up with five. Yeah, I think it's 5 volt. 5 volt for you know USB charger. Nice touch. Um, looks pretty nice actually. It's inside. You can see it's a electrolytic capacitor. It's kind of cheap. So I don't know if we're gonna use it. I don't really need it, but it's a nice touch for the seller who have included this with the micro sync card and the whole whole deal only costs like eight dollars to ten dollars ish on Amazon. So not a bad deal. Um thank you very much for watching and I got this in two days of Amazon Prime. Yeah.